Good evening everyone and welcome back to my channel. Tonight I'm going to do a nighttime skin routine, bedtime routine video. So this video has actually inspired me because Sarah Ashcroft did a whole day in the life in lockdown and she did a little skincare night routine at the end of it. And it's roughly about the same time that I was going through my friend's new Instagram account which is step by step how to do your skincare routine so i changed my skincare routine it has brought me out into spots but i read online that that can be because you've changed up your skin routine which can imbalance your current ph in your skin levels or something something scientific that i didn't really understand but the going down the skin routine is settling it's it's in flow it's in motion so one of the first tips that my friend's Instagram account bestowed upon me, big word, was that you can only wash your face in warm water, something to do with your pores, so I just went with it, I didn't really question it, so I suppose we'll just get into the skin routine. So to start off, please ignore my pale skin and horrible hair and awful updo. It is lockdown. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not doing anything. For anyone that has noticed the jumper, this may or may not be a new exciting venture that I have gone down. That I may or may not be talking about in my next video. It depends how the samples wash and could be a hint. Probably is a massive hint considering I'm wearing it. <laughs> now I've got the warm water going, I'm gonna take, I never know if I'm saying it right, is it Fiore? Fiore? Unsure. Charcoal, deep pore charcoal cleanser. That tap is so loud, I am so sorry. So another skincare tip that my friend's Instagram account suggested was to pat your skin dry with towels or whichever rather than rub because it can cause irritation to the skin and I've actually found that my skin is a lot less red, if that makes sense. It probably does. I just get so nervous when I get in front of this camera and I don't know why, I just do. Uh, the next thing I take is my Simple Kind to Skin Vital Vitamin Foaming Cleanser. Now I've been using this for years, I've possibly over a decade because I never find a better cleanser for my skin because my skin can be sensitive, it can also not be sensitive, it depends how it's feeling. Um, so I always find that this gets rid of my spots, keeps me quite spot free, doesn't cause oiliness or dryness and doesn't cause me any issue so what isn't broken Um, I take two pumps of this and again same thing again wash it into my face with small slow motion circles wash it off with warm water and pat dry my face Okay, so I'm done with the water-based skincare routine. So the next step, obviously I am not any, by any means necessary, a skincare expert. I am just basically going off other people's skincare routines and my friend's Instagram account. So she suggested going from thinnest layer of skincare to thickest layer of skincare and starting with a toner, which is the thinnest layer apparently. So I use the Elemis Soothing Apricot Toner in the spray bottle, mainly because it smells really nice. And once that dries off, I go with my Revolution 2% Hyaluronic Acid Plumping and Hydrating Solution, which was featured in my Revolution haul, I think. So I take one drop, it... I always find one drop is more than enough because this serum is actually quite thick 
Okay, and once the serum has dried, I go in with the thickest layer of my skincare routine, which is my moisturiser. I actually learned that I was doing my skincare routine wrong was because I was coming out with little milk spots and I didn't know what they were until my friend's Instagram account said that milk spots can be built up excess from thick moisturiser and obviously I was only using moisturiser in my face, I wasn't using serums or toners or anything and if I was they were going on after my moisturiser so I was actually doing my skin routine backwards which has caused me the milk spots because I only tend to use Aveeno moisturiser and that is really really thick but I, today I am using the Revolution SPF 30 protecting boost for normal to oily skin I started using SPF in my moisturiser on my face because apparently it's a really important factor for avoiding wrinkles and irritation and odd pigmentation and things like that and I was trying to get used to it because we are going to the Maldives in August now so I needed something that was going to protect my skin from the sun when we're away so if anyone hasn't watched that video I can put sun cream anywhere on my body except my face because it comes out in a horrible rash but it doesn't any bit anywhere else it's really odd so I hope everyone's having a good final few months of lockdown. The end is in sight. We have a pathway out of lockdown now. Thank you, Boris. So next I go in with my Revolution Vanilla Lip Sleeping Mask. Now I suffer from really bad chapped lips during the winter just because of the weather outside. And I normally suffer for quite a few months with it and it looks horrendous but after a few days of using this chap lip seems to go away because I think it's so oily but gets so thin it proper keeps the moisture in little change of scenery there so we've actually just gone from my bathroom to my bedroom and my gorgeous sparkly wallpaper <laughs> that needs to come down because yeah just needs to come down so for hair care, um, for any girls like me who really suffer from really dry, thin, brittle, coarse hair, I have to constantly wear extensions. So anyone who does wear extensions, I wear the nano bead extensions, so they have to be taken out every few months and put back in. Um, to try and get my hair in better condition whilst I do have the extensions in, I use the Weller Professional Oil Reflections luminous smoothening oil <laughs> mouthful and it smells amazing i've had it for over a year now and i've i've still maybe only used a fifth or a quarter and i use two pumps every night so it is amazing two pumps every night one pump every morning and one or two pumps if i blow dry my hair afterwards so it's done really really well and it smells so nice So the oil just gets run through my hair every night and every morning and yeah it doesn't really help with the fact that my hair gets really greasy now but it's locked down, we're not going anywhere, we're not seeing anyone so you might as well take care of your hair and skin during this little period of time where you're not seeing anybody and it won't really affect your confidence. Obviously, I take my dog out for a walk every day and I must be a sight to look at because I make no effort with my outfits, hair or makeup or tan anymore. Letting standards go. So, one thing that I use, which I actually haven't used in months because I completely forgot about it because once I bought the shampoo, used it all and binned it, I actually forgot to buy some more because I'm a massive airhead. Um, the Waterman's shampoo conditioner and this is the growing elixir really help my hair in thickness length anything not quality is it quality just overall healthiness i suppose um so i also use this two pumps every night or if you're anything like me i just spray it in the it's new today if you can't tell 
I just spray it in the actual hair lines itself. So all to do then is just rub it into my scalp and I am good to go. And that is basically my nighttime skincare routine guys. It's nothing special, nothing complicated, no real high-end products in there. The only high-end products that I do use is that Elemis toning spray. Everything else is £10 or under. It's it's not eccentric again it doesn't take me ages how long did that take me it took me 10 to 15 minutes to do and that's washing my face putting on everything from my toners to my serums to my moisturizers to hair care i'm not exactly the pro but i try <laughs> the effort is there so thank you all so much for watching my very simple nighttime skin routine guys. I mean, it does mean a lot. I'll hopefully see you in my next video with maybe possible more exciting news. Bye guys.